Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin from GreyFlorals.com and today I have another episode of Summer of Stories. Today is episode V, which if you have not been following along, every week this summer I'm covering two different letters of the alphabet to tell you guys stories and story ideas you can do associated with that letter. So today I'm actually working on my Vermont album, hence the letter V, and I'll be doing a pocket page here with two sides. So one side will be two four by six photos and then the other side will be a quad so four three by four sections um, and then like I said before this series has been really really fun and I really do hope you guys have been enjoying it I've covered so many different topics and done so many different layouts and I've really had fun with it but there are new things coming in the fall so get excited for that and we'll see how that goes um, it is going to be a little different than this so if you have enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments. I know several of you have already, and I really appreciate it that you did enjoy this um, because it was a lot of work to put together, especially since every process video I put up here had a related printable over on my blog. So if you go over there, you can get today's printable, which is all the story list ideas for episode V. So as I'm trimming my photos, this last one here, I actually trimmed too short. So I decide to trim it even further and I'll actually put that on top of a 3x4 card and that will give me a little bit more, you know, room to work with embellishing. And this is actually a real-time process video over on my Patreon page. So if you want to become a patron, head over there and you can get one real-time process video a week for the summer months. Or if you join now, you'll be able to look back at the ones I've already done. Things will change in the fall. They'll be getting some different uh, rewards for their patronage. So if you want to head over there, check it out. Lots going on. Here I'm going to use this Heidi Swap Emerson Lane 6x6 paper pad and cut this down to 3x4 so I can put that behind my photo so it fits in the pocket well. And I went with this green because there's a lot of green in the photos. These photos are actually when we went on a hike. I believe it was called Mount Philo. Philo? Um, and that was when we stayed in Burlington, Vermont. We drove down there to go hike. And that's what these pictures are for. Um, like I've said before, I really, really have enjoyed working with this kit for How to Kill a Kit with Style this month. I'll have that playlist linked down below in case you guys want to see the kit um, and what's in it. But I've really, really enjoyed working with an embellishment kit rather than a whole 12 by 12 scrapbooking kit. I think this allows me to have more flexibility in my creativity and for subjects I can actually cover. Um, and scrapbook about because I often jump from subject to subject. That's just what I tend to do because I get bored with things very easily. So having an embellishment kit rather than a whole scrapbook kit with 12 by 12 papers and all that jazz, this really sparks my interest instead of that. So if you guys like that idea and want me to keep doing embellishment kits with product focuses like this month is stamping, um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see for September for a kit. Um, I won't be sharing as many process videos on here, I don't think. Um, it's just taken a lot out of me to film this many process videos. So I'm going to switch gears and film some other types of videos for the fall months, but we shall see. I definitely want to do some more card making videos, so we shall see where it takes us in the fall. But I do have some great ideas that I want to share with you guys, along with tips and tricks. And we've talked about in some other videos about purging and organization, so you'll see those videos coming up very soon. Um, in the fall time. So here I'm just looking through the embellishments. Um, most of these embellishments in the One Canoe 2 Goldenrod collection are too large for pocket pages in my personal opinion, um, especially a 6x8 pocket page book um, versus a 12x12. 12 12. I just think there's less room to work with here. Um, I do look through them however. I pull out one or two. This one says remember this and it's just a gold foil sticker. And I paired that onto the 3x4 card made of Goldenrod One Canoe 2 papers. And then I pull the other one, which is just a yellow one, um, and I put that underneath the photo of myself hiking. So you can see a lot of extra hand movements whenever I do these real-time process videos for my patrons, because then when I go back and do the voiceovers for you guys here, um, my hands just move so much faster and so much extra, because it's just I'm talking about different things at different points, because one's sped up and one's not. So here I knew I wanted to add some more layers to those 3x4 cards because they're looking a little bit bland. Um, and I also knew I wanted to decorate that 4x6 card, or photo rather, because there's a lot of empty space up there. And I was thinking, well, my title could go up there. Um, and again, if you're new, the Summer of Story series is not title-based. It's theme-based, so based on the topic you're scrapbooking about. So your title doesn't have to have a letter in it, just the theme of your page does 
or the topic of your page does. So I don't have a V in my title specifically on this one, but I easily could have written Vermont somewhere on here and counted that. But um, I'm just going to keep embellishing. I do have a lot of stickers in this particular embellishment kit. And I will say I have become pretty sticker happy. I don't know if that's just me right now or if that's going to be me for a while. But I will say that I do have been loving the stickers lately. So here I'm trying to fill in the rest of the space on these four by six photos on the left. So there's space in the top left photo and then in the bottom photo on the left, there's space in the bottom left corner. So I'm really trying to fill those in with something that makes sense and doesn't take away too much from the photos. Um, I'm definitely a person who puts more photos in than is necessary, um, but that's just my style. Here I'm putting a pink for studio leatherette sticker that says not easy but worth it because this was a very very hard climb um, especially since we were on vacation we wanted something you know relaxing um, this was a pretty intense climb um, it had just rained and it was raining while we were hiking but let me tell you that it was muddy it was it wasn't too slippery there were parts that were kind of slippery especially going back down the hill or mountain rather um, but other than that it was still hard <laughs> Um, so I'm just flipping through my stickers here trying to find something. The top left cluster I have right now will change. It's just too much. Um, it also says Hello Weekend, and I'm not sure if this actually was on a weekend or not because we took a week-long vacation. So I have a imagining it wasn't, but I'll have to go back and check the dates. So here I'm pulling out these stickers from Fancy Pants and my photo here that's still out. And here's where I decide that I don't want to work in the book anymore, so I'm just going to work straight on my desk because um, you guys get the layout now so you can kind of see where I'll be going with all of the design elements. So I go with this uh, sentiment here that says, You Rock, which I think is really funny. Uh, it brings in that mustard yellow and then it also has light blue, which matches the photos um, for all of our coats. Um, but I also think it's funny because it's a pun because we're surrounded by these giant boulders or rocks. Um, so I thought that was kind of funny, but that might just be me. And now again, I'm just stickering it up. I'm trying to move some stuff out of the way too because if you guys have been watching some of my process videos lately, my desk is an absolute wreck. Um, I hope you don't mind seeing all the embellishments off to the sides. I have a pretty tight squeeze of a desk, especially with all the things that I like to have on it. Um, but I'll have a craft room tour coming probably in September. Um, maybe if I can squeeze it in here at the end of August, but I definitely have some stuff I wanna change. And I definitely have some things that I want to share with you guys before I change. So I definitely want to do two scrap room tours. It's just a matter of filming them and getting them up for you guys. But the messy desk continues as I keep working with this scrapbook kit in particular. I don't know why. I just feel like I have to have all the stickers out and visible um, so that I can use them. Uh, which is just weird, but something I do. So I'm using these smaller One Canoe 2 sticker sheets. Uh, I use those plus signs to accent with that bright blue again. Here I'm looking for something where I can stamp. Uh, my product focus this month is stamping. I will say I haven't been doing as much stamping as I want to on some of these layouts, but don't worry, I've recently filmed some additional process videos where I'll be doing some actual stamping techniques that I wanted to share with you guys that I've had, you know, built up in my mind forever, but just haven't sat down and done or found the right photos for. But those will be coming soon um, here in August. So I stamped that Technique Tuesday phrase that says Dare Greatly, and it'll go right above my photo on the right-hand card. And I think that works out pretty nicely. Um, it gives the, you know, that little card its own title, um, and it's not too much or too little, so I think it works out well. And that will layer right underneath it. I definitely could have put another layer of paper behind that photo so it wasn't green on green for that one section, uh, but I don't end up doing that, and that's perfectly okay. Here I'm grabbing these little, I would call them copper or bronze, um, just some little hearts from the Paper House Productions sticker sheet, and those are puffy hearts. I will say they're kind of the hard puffy sticker type, so not my favorite, but they definitely add a nice accent to this page. So as I start gluing these things down, a couple things shift out of place or I add them in, um, but nothing too crazy changes, um, just a little bit of placing. Um, and I really love how this filler card turned out. And if you didn't read the card, you'll be able to see it up in the up close photos here at the end. But it's a very, very nice quote. I had a really hard time choosing which quote to use. I really love the Goldenrod collection for those quotes specifically. Um, a lot of the papers are really not my style, but that those quotes and some of the icons that they have in this collection 
are absolutely beautiful and I love them so so much. So I don't know exactly what I'm flailing my arms about around about here but I think I'm trying to consider where I want to put these four by or three by four cards. Um, I thought about changing them up so there'd be you know a filler at the top and then a filler at the bottom sort of thing so kind of splitting it up a little bit more but I kept it the way it is so they're kind of in sequential order um, as far as I can remember anyway. I believe that these are all based on the hike up to the mountain um, and none on the way down, but you never know and it's really not a huge deal if they get out of order. Um, these photos in particular are from, I believe, Snapfish and I believe I ordered them also from the app, which I would not recommend. There was nothing printed on the back and I always love when they print the dates on the back of the photo because that's just so much easier for us, um, but there were no dates on the back. There's actually nothing on the back. Um, and they're also not the best quality. They have a weird texture to them. Um, usually I order glossy photos. Um, that's just what I prefer. I think they look better over time. But I just didn't like how these ones turned out. So I'm going to add another arrow stamp to this filler card. Um, and that is from Heidi Swap. And with that, I think this page is complete. Again, not too much stamping, but I hope you guys don't mind. It's a lot harder to incorporate stamping onto smaller pages like these. But here are the final products, so the close-ups of these photos too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this layout. Let me know if you do enjoy the 6x8 down below. Um, I've definitely missed this size, even though I worked on it a lot in July. Uh, coming back to it made me really happy. Um, so here are those two, and there's that quote. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed again. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys again soon. Bye.